Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, I try to put out videos on a daily basis throughout the week. I try to also put out post-game videos on Sundays if possible. So you want to make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell clicked so you'll know when my videos are released. And for those who continue to support this channel, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. And with that said, let's get into today's video, shall we? So the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Washington Commanders at FedEx Field on Sunday. And this will be a tale of two mirror image teams. Both teams will rely heavily on a run heavy offense which has helped both teams succeed in, in recent weeks. Now, when you look at the Commanders, it's been Brian Robinson Jr., it's been Antonio Gibson that has run the rock for the Commanders. For the Atlanta Falcons, they've, they've kind of spread the ball around when it comes to the running game. And Marcus Mariota, he's, he's definitely ran the ball as well. So we're going to have to look at a, a running quarterback. We're going to have to keep Mariota in check as well. Now, the Atlanta Falcons, they were going to take on the Washington Commanders at FedEx. And this team, I mean, you know, it's not going to be a, a, an easy, easy game, I don't think. Honestly, I don't think it is. I will say, both teams last week, they kept their quarterbacks clean. Neither, neither quarterback got sacked. But both teams have had some protection issues this season. And this will probably play a role in this game. Now, Washington, they come in with a top five pass run, uh, pass rush defense. And, of course, we'll be getting Chase Young back. It's going to be a limited role for Chase Young. Probably won't see him for more than, I would say, 12 or maybe 12 to 15 plays. But we will be getting Young back, finally. I, I don't think you're going to see Mariota having a clean jersey you're probably going to be seeing a lot of a uh, heavy dose of um, um, Montez Sweat, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, guys like that. Who knows maybe Chase Young gets into that mix but anyway on Washington side of football the offensive line has gotten better and more consistent throughout the last few weeks and I think that you know, talking about consistency, we've had a little bit more of a consistent lineup. Even though we have rotated guys on the right side of the football, it seems like along with the play calling from Scott Turner being more heavily centered around the running game, things have been more consistent. Now, what remains to be seen is why Cosme, who seems to be healthy now, hasn't been the full-time starter back on that that right tackle side seems like we have seen a lot of a uh, rotation with uh, Lucas there Turner of course has been playing a lot but things have worked so let, let's just let's just see how things plays out on on that side of the football um, and as I said you know the running game has been big for Washington's offense this is one thing that attributed to the the big win over the previously undefeated Philadelphia Eagles a couple of weeks ago. You know, the commanders have kept that run-heavy offense and has actually opened things up a little bit more for the passing game. You know, it, it's given way to, to more bigger plays for Terry McLaurin, uh, you know, Curtis Samuel, and even uh, Josh, uh, not Josh Dotson, I keep saying that, John Dotson. Uh, who is slowly trying to come back from an injury. Uh, but even Logan Thomas had a really big game last week. So, you know, thing, things are getting a little bit better for that offensive side of the ball. Um, and, you know, it's also it's contributing to the development of first-year running back Brian Robson Jr., who's still not quite 100% after coming back from being shot. Now, one big concern for the Washington Commanders, of course, will be the secondary. Benjamin St. Juice will miss this game due to injury. And, you know, St. Juice, he's played really well in the past few weeks. Now, he has been called for some pass interference calls, which I think have been a little ticky-tacky. But, you know, he's played really well since getting moved out on the edge. 
taken over after the, uh, you know, for the departed William Jackson III. But now we're going to have to rely on Danny Johnson out there, probably a little bit more Wild Goose. And hopefully Johnson will hold down the fort until Benjamin St. Juice can come back. Uh, you know, speaking of injuries, Cole Holcomb, unfortunately, he's been placed on IR for the Washington Commanders. Uh, you know, before going out on that foot injury, Holcomb led the defense in tackles. So, but he's missed the last four games. And, you know, Holcomb now placed on, on injured reserve. Uh, it's led way for Milo Effer, who has been activated off of injured reserve after missing seven games. So we'll see how Effler can come back and, and play for the Washington Commanders um, in the linebacker position. But well, Washington will continue to rely a little bit more heavily on second-year man Jamin Davis, who he's developed pretty nicely over this year after being called out at the beginning of the season from Jack Del Rio and company. And John Bostic, you know, he'll, he'll probably see a little bit more playing time as well. But we'll expect Davis to once again have the green dot. So, you know, it, it's sad to see that Holcomb is probably likely going to miss. I mean, I hope he doesn't miss the rest of the season, but that foot injury, it's not been good for him. Now, Taylor Heineke, he'll continue to lead away, of course, at quarterback, but Carson Wentz was activated this week. So, you know, Will. Uh, Wentz has missed the last five weeks with a broken finger, but is healthy enough to now play. However, Wentz will not be backing up Car uh not Car he won't be backing up himself, right? Now he won't be backing up Taylor Heineke. He will actually be the third on the depth chart. Sam Howe will be backing up Taylor Heineke. Now it will, will remain to be seen. Will this depth chart remain throughout the rest of the season or will we see Carson slowly get back into at least the backup role as things progress but for right now if for any reason Heineke goes out you know whether if Washington's up by 40 points or if Heineke gets hurt expect to see Sam Howell to come into the game and not Carson Wentz and this is a very important game for the the Washington Commanders. Why am I not getting this out? <laughs> it's a very important game for both teams, Atlanta Falcons and the Washington Commanders. You know, both both teams are alive in the in the playoff run. You know, Atlanta Falcons are five and six, but they're currently second in their division behind the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Atlanta the the Washington Commanders rather are six and five. They're in last place in the NFC East but they continue to creep up in the division. And, you know, if Washington is able to secure a win over the Falcons this Sunday, then it puts them in a position to possibly overtake the New York Giants because they'll face them in the coming weeks. And guess what? If they're able to beat the Giants, suddenly you're seeing Washington leapfrog over the Giants. And we'll play the Giants in back-to-back -back weeks. All that, well, let me put to you this way. We'll face the Giants. We'll have a bye week. We'll come back. We'll face them again. So basically, back-to-back -back games against the Giants. Although not back-to-back -back weeks. Still, we'll face the Giants twice in a row. Um, the Washington Commanders could be a very dangerous team down the road. Uh, but this game on Sunday is going to be a very interesting game because, like I said earlier, these two teams are mirror images with each other. Let us know, though, in the comments what you think about this game. I really think these are two teams that are mirror images. I, both teams are going to rely heavily on the running game. I think both offenses do just enough to win the football game, but I think the edge is going to be in the defense. I think the Washington Commanders... They're going to be a little bit better with pass defense, with run defense. I think that's going to be key to this game. I think the commanders are probably going to take this game, but it's not going to be easy. I think it's going to happen in the fourth quarter. I don't think it's going to be as easy as it was last week. Let me know what you think in the comment sections below. I tell you what, held to the commanders. 
Let's go Maniac Buddies. Left hand up. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.